Well, hello once again here, Liz Surya, your tax advisor, your business coach. And just wanted to tell you that this will be the probably one of the final episodes through the three passive income idea evergreen series that I promise you that I will go ahead and complete. Uh, in this one being the final one, um, not to say it's ever done, uh, I could be adding something to this green series because there's always passive income opportunities out there sometimes. Uh, they're very possible for the average Joe and Jane out there. Um, if you haven't seen it so far, I have to been discussing through all this evergreen series about how to invest into real estate, okay? Including the fact that not always you have to invest in buying a property. There's many other ways of investing into real estate without you touching a single property. That's right. And by the way, this is a separate uh, series that I have about that. It's called Real Estate Investment. It's called, I'm sorry, it's called Alternative Real Estate Investing. And you can do it with many different ways, okay? Tax liens. You can do it with REITs. Uh, you know, you can do it with land, right? So that's a separate series. But this one, we really emphasize more about investing in real property, which it was investing in houses, single family homes, or even manufactured homes. That's right. That's a big trend of a lot of people getting into that, but as anything, you have to be cautious. The second part that we talked about in the series was about how to get into becoming a, 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 you know, an online seller e-commerce business, right? Because some of you might say, I'm not interested, Liz, at all in investing in real estate, okay? I just don't like it, I never have, that's fine, right? So if you're interested more in the e-commerce, which is another very well way of making money, and without you physically having to be there and working hours, right? Because that's what's called a passive income. Then you can do Amazon, eBay, and all or probably create your own you know, platform like Shopify, right? So I go into details that. And then finally, this one is where I really go really in deep um, in the sense of what happens if you need a one, one of those, but yet you are a professional. Maybe whatever background you have, uh, you have been doing something as a service to other companies and now you decide here, hey, I want to go on my own. I want to do something that can continue helping many, many people out there instead of just working for one single employer, right? Let's say that you are in that time in, time in your life where you have a career, maybe many years of experience, and whatever might be the circumstances where you decide to resign or you would let go, um, maybe this is the time for you to step up finally and say, yeah, I have it. I have it. I can do this. Um, but sometimes we just need to follow uh, certain people's blueprint to help you to see a little faster and avoid a lot of the mistakes. I mean, a lot of mistakes, folks, throughout more than almost a decade that I've been in business. And I started in the cloud, meaning that I started remotely working from my own home office without having to have a traditional uh, retail store, which I'm glad I have because as a recording of this video, obviously uh, we have been, uh, you know, in, in, in unfortunately, you know, health uh, global crisis with COVID and something that I think it's not just going to disappear just like that. If it's not COVID, it would be a different type of uh, virus and whatever it might be and our health always can be in a predicament, right? So, um, we need to also take care of our finance because when these kind of crises come across, well, you know, we have problems financially too, right? So with that said, what I'd like to bring to your attention is how can you become successful? How can you start still online business, but without having to sell products or without having to get into real estate, okay? So let's go ahead and dive right in. If you don't know who I am, my name is Liz Soria. I am a tax accountant and also a business coach. Um, I have helped many entrepreneurs for many, many years um, really 
have a clear vision of what they desire. Um, a lot of times we can go after the most shiny object and boy, we get that all the time, don't you? Um, you know, it was just shocking the other day when I, came, I came across this article saying that most of us, we have maybe um, less than 10 seconds of retention. Um, so we have so many things happening to us now in these days, whether, you know, we are on our smartphones, where we are in front of, uh, you know, our computers, even our TV, it doesn't matter. I mean, we have all these ads they're constantly bombarding us with information that sometimes even when we think we have a good plan, we just don't take the time and, and, and really understand what are the proper steps to jump into it. And the reason is because we have distractions everywhere. So let's go ahead and concentrate on what you really desire and what you want to accomplish. Now, out of this, I want to tell you that if you are a professional or you are in some sort of trend, meaning that you do some type of industry, and by the way, when I say profession, it doesn't mean you have to have a degree. Yes, there's certain careers that I do think, you know, a degree is required, such as being an attorney, such as being a doctor, such as being an engineer, such as being even an accountant like myself, because these are really traditional, you know, careers that require a lot of intensive learning. But there's so many other careers out there that now in these days, you don't even need to have a degree, but yeah, you can be a professional, consider in that industry. So what can you do to not only make a living in a very good damn living, I mean it, but it also help others because the bottom line, we all here to help each other. And when we expand, it's because we've been able to have a clear vision of where we are heading um, as a person. So challenging times are always going to be there no matter what happens. And I think that if you build good solid relationships and you're able to offer more than a regular person out there, you will always see no matter what happens in time, okay? So I wanna to say to you, when I remember when I started my business, I was told after working for many, many years and coming out of school and knowing that I had to do a career, and then I have quite about seven years of experience, I was in the accounting field, remember? And I thought to myself, well, um, I got a pink slip. Yeah, that's the truth. Um, I'm embarrassed, it has happened, not the first time either. <laughs> um, and in this case, the company was shutting down and I was giving, hey, this is it, you know, it's over. <laughs> Your position and not only mine among, like I said, many other ones. And I thought at that point, I said, well, do I really want to go out there and seek another job? Or do I really prepare to really move forward and do something? So people tell me, how did you discover and how did you find the right path to still be in business after 10 years? I must be doing something right. Think about that for a moment. But it was never easy. I wish I could avoid a lot of mistakes that I did right at the beginning, especially my first, like, I would say four or five years. It was a roller coaster. I mean, ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs, because no matter how much I thought I knew, even with all my career and seven years of experience that I had at that time, when I started this business that I currently still have, I can tell you it was damn challenging. Yeah, very damn challenging because no one told me, no one prepared me what I need to confront. And as really an entrepreneur, it takes a very different vision. We come with a mindset as an employee. And what happens is that you need to shift that and that shift should really, I think, you know, and I do dare to say what should before you actually even start your actual business. Um, because we're not exchanging really time for money, we're exchanging our value. And that's a big, big difference, right? And one of the things that I have done is I do believe that there's a lot of professionals out there that they can make such a huge difference, especially now that I think that working remotely and virtually as they call it also it's so becoming a normal thing for me it was normal I started like that 10 years ago uh, for you it might be new but not for me and for many other people also by the way but the majority of you who might be watching this video listening to my podcast that I've had for quite a few years 
uh, you will notice that maybe this is your opportunity to finally jump in and say, I'm going to do this. I have the expertise. I do have the skills. And now I want to move forward. Now, is it competitive? Of course it is. There's always going to be competition. But see, I'm not afraid of competition. Competition actually makes me learn more, makes me be able to be different. And I see this everywhere I can. It's not about becoming better or about improving your weakness. It's about improving your strength. Let me repeat that because this is really, really profound. It's not about improving your weakness. It's about improving your strength. If you know you're good in something, then become a master in that. And whatever you weak, you contract other people to help you in the process. Because I see so many, uh, you know, girls out there proclaiming and, and bragging about that if you have weakness, you know, you need to improve them. Forget about that. Improve in what you're really good in. We all born with different, I think, different missions, but with different abilities that we can help others. And the only way we can do that is by becoming master ourselves. And then another thing I want to share with you is having a big change, of, like I say, of your mindset. It does, it is a major thing. But mindset, right, as you might have, you must have probably heard, growth mindset versus, you know, set mindset. And set mindset is nothing more that we think we have limitations. This is as far as I can go. This is all I can do. I'm stuck over here because there's nothing better I can do. Not true. We always have the ability, and as long as you're breathing and you're alive and you're willing and you have that, I would say, tenacity of saying, I'm going to push forward, then you will accomplish your goals. Now, remember, dream is just a dream. We can dream a lot of things. A goal is very different. It's when we set time and we meet our deadlines. What does that mean, Liz? It means that you need to push forward harder than ever. And I do believe in becoming, you know, part of a community of becoming, having that support because as a solopreneur, it's very, very hard. Um, you're going to find yourself with a lot of challenges and a lot of things that no school is going to teach you. And the more support and more communities you join, the better the ride will be. That I can almost assure you. And again, I have my very first business coach, I think after only two years of being in business. And now I look back and I wish I could have had it from the very first day, or probably even before I even started my business. So I want you to understand that whatever it is that you have to offer, it can be something feasible. It can be something that can happen. Because I know, because I've been there, I've done it myself. So I speak from true, true experience. And um, I'm not going to say that you're going to become, you know, extremely wealthy or you're going to double your salary, not on that stuff. And hey, by all means, it could. I don't know what industry you're in, but I know in my traditional industry, it's taken me a long time to be successful. And like I said, I went through a lot of ups and downs and still do, but what I believe is that what I have to deliver and what I need to serve others is something that is worth going through this mission. It's worth going through all those battles because when we help others, we help ourselves the most. So I have a great faith that if you truly believe in yourself and whatever it is that you're doing, you can convert that into an online business. You as a professional, Okay, you can start your online business. Whether yes, you might have need a maybe a simple website, not nothing massive. Ten years ago, you needed like a, a thirty page website, like I still I still have. <laughs> but now in these days, you can have a very simple website, maybe less than five pages. You probably heard the word funnel, which is just a landing page. People go and give you an email. You exchange it with some freebie, right? 
uh, whether it's a free ebook or maybe a, you know an audio file or maybe in a video uh, and all these kind of things bring your email list to growth because that is so extremely important I don't care how good you are in whatever you do if you cannot connect to people and create your own community prior you will have a hard time growing your business so first people must know about you yeah we got social media facebook lincoln i love lincoln and i think i'm sorry for any type of business uh especially on a professional level you want to grow your community in lincoln um i also like many other uh, you know venues like here youtube and you could have a podcast there's a lot of ways that you can market your business but depending in the type of service you provide okay so what I done separately and you can look back in in, in my uh, YouTube channel or even through my podcast I did create another series um, that okay so as I was saying um, I'm gonna go ahead and put all that information in regards to not only the uh, online courses that I have created especially for professionals like you that can go step by step knowing exactly what they need to do and yeah don't worry like I said it's not gonna cost you thousands and I'm just gonna cost you believe it or not less than five hundred dollars actually less than that so one of the courses is gonna be completely free I understand that some people want to test things before they get too involved that is fine but I can assure you, like I said, if you want to learn, you want to learn from people who have been there, done it, and they're still in business. Always remember that, okay? So I'm not here shining you my big mansion in the background or my shiny car, none of that stuff. I'm telling you exactly, if you do follow the blueprint like anything else, like a map, it takes you from A to Z, that's where you'll be heading. Now, is it going to be easy? Absolutely not. Uh, you know, is it going to be work? Absolutely, like anything else in life. I mean, it's just common sense. But if you want, like I said, I'm going to put in the description uh, below this video or podcast if you're listening to. I'm going to put the My Academy, which is under Liz S. Okay, S. Sam Academy. And it's going to be there. You're going to be able to click, and then you're going to see the three keys for business success, the mini course. And it's, like I said, completely free. It still is as of the recording of this. You know episode and it is how to start and grow a successful business now the second course that i do have like i said it's a very reasonable uh, investment all right uh and that is almost nearly three hours of training by the way okay so i always tell to you people take it uh take the information day by day and learn as much as you can but don't try to digest all the information in one day because it doesn't work that way for some reason our brain it's too much bombardment. Um, so in this other one that I'm actually, you can make a really uh, investment on, is called the Entrepreneur's Business Kit. Okay, Entrepreneur Business Kit. And that is start a biz in 30 days. So you can start a business in 30 days. I will tell you there exactly step by step, not only through video, but I also give you resources and I give you a lot of additional information that can really get you started. Now, it's up to you. I always tell that to people. I can give you the best map, but if you're not willing to invest more time and take action, know where you're gonna go. Unfortunately, it's just reality of life, and we know that, don't we? Uh, I think that whoever's gonna come through, uh, you know, this type of training with me are people who are have a, a mature level, uh, and they understand that we need to invest in ourselves the same we did for our career, and then be able to apply what we learn, right? Because you know there's so much about knowledge if you don't apply it and take action it's really worthless so just my personal opinion that's all um but to me i think we, we're being realistic here and this course right here uh like i said entrepreneur's business kit it's going to cost you a very small amount of money but it's going to be well worth your time and like i said if later on you decide that i am the right fit for you and you want to follow me and join part of the community and then you want to expand because like i said with support and guidance is where it's going to make you more successful if you think you can do solo i wish you a lot of good luck but i know that i hit a lot of stones along the way what i was trying to do on my own so um but you know what 
everybody's future is different, but like you said, at least I have created this because really other clients have demanded this and said, what would you put the things that you know, Liz, on some type of training where people can really, you know, easily be accessible. And that's why I am so proud really of um, kind of, you know, launching this latest, you know, uh, online course. So I hope you enjoy and you like it. Like I said, don't worry, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. Uh, but definitely, I want you to take it because this is a good test for yourself. Do you really want to get into business? Is it really what you truly desire? And if it is, the sure steps that you can take to move forward. And by the way, you're not only going to learn from me, you might have different different mentors around you. And that's perfectly fine. I mean, right now I have two mentors already for me. And I, there was a time where I had three mentors. And when I say mentors, I'm not talking about only group coaching, which is also something I'm going to start offering, but it's actually having different group coaching and private co mentors helping me in the process to be in business. So I hope that, you know, I'm being really upfront and truthful to you. This might help you to really open your eyes. So anyhow, I hope I see you on the inside. And like I say, if you want to look back into the video uh, or the episode, it's called Three Keys for Business Success, the why, the who, and the how. So I hope to see you in the inside and I wish you the best. In the meantime, stay safe and stay positive, okay? Take care. I wish you the best. Bye-bye.